Welcome to the Landa House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. Power Queen just sent over a 12.8 lithium iron phosphate battery. This one is 190 amp hour. So let's pull this out of the box and see what it's all about. So it's got an instruction booklet. It's got the terminals and then we've got some foam packaging here and then the battery itself. So let me go ahead and get that pulled out of here. Luckily it does have the handles on the side so we can get this yeah, out of here pretty easy. Let's take a quick tour around this battery. So right here it's got the 12.8 volt 190 amp hours, 2432 watt hours. So we'll be testing that value out here in a discharge test. So if I turn it over to this side, it's got a handle that is attached. It just folds down out of the way like that. Same on the other side. Over here just has your Power Queen logo and 12.8 volt, 190 amp hours. So the same thing over here, just a handle. Up top, it's got more uh, Power Queen and then also has the uh, negative and positive terminals over here. So I was uh, just moving this around a little bit and it feels like the uh, case is maybe a little bit big for the internals. So you can press it around a little bit. Um, but I don't think that's going to cause any issues. The lid seems to be on good there. All right, nice. So let's go ahead and look at some of the information here found in the instruction booklet. Like I said before, it's got your uh, terminals and it appears that there are ah, two sets. So if you were to lose one, you would have a spare. First of all, there's a quick look reference that just says things like uh, don't touch the terminals together and charge it to 100% on your first receiving the battery. And it also has things back here like uh, don't cross over the terminals, don't touch them together. And uh, it'll run things um, like all the way up to 2000 watts. It says you should put the battery upright, not turning it upside down and do not open the battery or expose it to fire. I know it's a bit dark down here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the battery connected up to my uh, charge controller so the solar can start filling this up. We won't do any tests until it's at 100%. I'm just gonna get this negative to negative hooked up here, get it nice and tight. And then we've got positive over here. Have to remove those little plastic covers. Let me flip on my charge controller. The battery is shipped at 13.2 volts. I'm going to go into the settings here and go into volts and I'm going to change uh, for the absorb to 14.4 and keeping the float at 13.5. Okay and now I'm going to flip on the solar. All right we got over 200 watts coming in. So we'll let that fully charge here. The Power Queen battery has now been sitting on the charger for one week uninterrupted. Let's go ahead and turn off the solar coming into the system. So that is now off. And now let's turn off the charge controller here. Now the manual recommends that this sit for 15 minutes before checking the voltage and hooking up for this discharge test. I've let the battery sit for about 15 minutes. Now let's get a voltage with my voltmeter. So we can see what this is rated at here. So it's got 13.3 volts, which is lower than it should be. Uh, we were expecting to have this at 13.5. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure why a week on the charger has not given this thing full voltage. I may have to check my uh, midnight settings to make sure everything is correct there. Let's go ahead and hook up this meter as well to see what the voltage shows. Um, the midnight classic showed that it was charged up to uh, 13.4. Um, so I had the charge set at 14.4 uh, and then the float at uh, uh, 13.5 so
potential small pop here. With my little meter here, I've got things set up. So it's got 190 amp hours and it's got a full battery. Let's go ahead and reset the watt value used here. Get that done. Okay, so we're at uh, zeros on the board. And so if I just show you the settings real quick, uh, 190 amp hours, 12.8 volt battery. It's at 13.5 uh, fully charged. Uh, I got my low and high alarms there. All right, so let me go ahead and put a load on here and we will run this for a few hours and see what it comes down to. I would prefer this to have shown 13.5 uh, instead of 13.4, but um, it's been on the charger now for a week, so it should be uh, fully charged. Here's my setup. I have a kilowatt meter over here, which I will reset to zero for the time. And then I've got my little Drox meter here. And then I've got the inverter, which will have uh, about 300 and some odd watts coming out. So let's flip this on here. Now the inverter is showing 13.5 volts, which is good. So uh, I don't know if between this and my multimeter, uh, some things are a little bit off, but all right, there we go. Let me reset the time on this right here. Okay, so what we've got here is 27.6 amps, 366 watts. Okay, as you can see here, I've got 27.8 amps, 366 watts. We've got 189 watt hours left. Battery is at 13.2 here. So let's let this run for a couple hours and hopefully we will see our maximum watt hours on this battery. This Power Queen battery is a 190 amp hour and 2,432 watt hours. And so as this discharge is being done, we should be able to see hopefully this hit about zero amp hours as it's used the 2,432 watt hours. Now my studio lights will heat up and they will use less power. So we've got uh, 366 watts right now, um, but here in about 30 minutes or an hour, it'll be dropped down a lot lower than that. But the main thing we're looking for is the time that it takes to discharge. And then we wanna see the 190 amp hours and uh, 2432 watt hours all be uh, uh, considered here. So, all right, I'll be back in about an hour and we'll see what this battery is down to. I just stepped back out here. It's been one hour and three minutes. Let's take a look at our display here to see what we're down to. We are currently at 23 amps, 303 watts. So it has dropped down significantly from 366 down to 303 watts. 163 amp hours, 13.2 volts, and we've used 349 watt hours so far. At the current load of 300 watts, I'm anticipating this to last somewhere around seven and a half to eight hours. So I'll be back in maybe four or five hours and we'll see how things are going. Okay, I just stepped back out here. It has now been uh, four hours and nine minutes. And let's go ahead and check our numbers again. Now my inverter is currently uh, running the fans, but that should turn off here in just a moment. So let me zoom you in here so you can see what's going on. We're now at 93.9 watt hours left, 305 watts being used, 1.2 kilowatt hours. Voltage still 13.1, so things are looking great. We've used 100 amp hours so far. From what I can tell so far, the Power Queen battery is doing exactly as advertised. I'll be back in two hours and we'll see how this thing is performing. We're now six hours and seven minutes into this test. Let's see what we have here on the meter again. We've got 313 watts, 45.8 amp hours, got 1.8 kilowatt hours, battery still at 12.9. So we are still doing quite well on this test. All right, I'll be back at about uh, the seventh hour and we'll see what we're down to. Okay, I believe this is it here. So our time is 
uh, seven hours and 46 minutes. And here on our meter, we've got 12.7 volts, 5.2 amp hours left. We are at uh, 2.4 kilowatt hours. So we should be somewhere within that last uh, uh, 32 watt hours. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down, swap over my lights to the main circuit. Whenever I turned off the load, the voltage went from 12.7 back up to 12.8 or even 12.9 here. So this thing has performed very well. And that concludes the discharge test of the Power Queen. This is the 12.8 uh, volt, 190 amp hours, 2,432 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So for the results, it charged up. I let it charge for over a week and it was 100%. Um, so my uh, charge controller and my multimeter said the uh, voltage on here was 13.4. But whenever I turned on my inverter, the display said 13.5 and it has performed as if it were fully charged. So um, seven hours and uh, 45 minutes is how long it took to consume almost 190 amp hours. And my display just said uh, 2.4 kilowatt hours. Um, so that remaining uh, 32 watt hours is what we were working with there in that last five amp hours. As functionality goes, this battery seems to be performing well. The only thing I've noticed that I don't like about it is that it seems to have maybe a, a, a more flimsy case than I have seen in some of the other batteries I've worked with, but it seems to be doing just fine. If you want to learn more about the Power Queen lithium iron phosphate battery, then I have links in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.